Hi, thanks for attending this session on Lab as a Service. I'm Alexander van Overvelt, working for Nokia, supporting enterprises and federal for global services. You just watched a short video of our Dallas facility where we host, among others, our customer support labs, one of the homes of Lab as a Service. In the video, you are seeing a fully cabled RF environment in which we can set up customer configurations and provide a full end-to-end -end testing for local as well as our global customers. We do this in cooperation with other test facilities and other locations where we support a variety of test use cases, scenarios, and as well as type of customers with their lab testing, validation testing. We support large international mobile phone manufacturers, chip developers, commercial operators, as well as enterprise customers as yourselves. We focus on testing, for instance, a very early stage R&D of new equipment or new applications, which we test out in our labs, or certification testing, where we validate user equipment against some of the access technologies and platforms, proof of concepts, where we evaluate uh, new products and features, uh, which we want to bring into as a customer network um, uh, together with the uh, existing equipment or existing UEs. Or solution validation testing for larger, more end-to-end -end type of solutions where we want to test the full operational network before we bring it into its a field or a customer lab deployment. As well as the full lab as a service, which is a service which can host all of the below and which is also something which is done on a more repetitive basis. Testing as that is done for US from either Dallas or from Murray Hill location, which we do in fully secured and isolated environments, where we work on the strict NDAs as well as on the uh, privacy requirements for the customers. Example on the upper left, uh, you see one of the test tubes, which is based in our Dallas location, which we uh, use for development of uh, test scenarios for customers who want to test either new radios or new UEs. Where this one is based, as mentioned, in a Dallas office, but equally can be brought to its custom locations for customer premise testing. A lab as a service makes having a lab for testing available to its wider group of enterprises, defense customers and institutes. We remove the high upfront investment and provide you with the service of a fully operational lab environment when and where you need it. We can leverage a large range of deployment methods where we're able to provide access to its lab rapidly, as well as depending on local or remote, um, uh, provide a adjustment to its the scope and to its the type of services and equipment you have in it in a fast and in an agile way. We can also support uh, the testing procedures itself and provide troubleshooting support and assistance and augment your own testing capabilities or run tests and execution of test cases completely for you, provide you with ready-made test reports and results at the end of the testing rounds. We do manage and maintain the network environments, the lab environments for our customers and support with our Nokia SMEs who are running this type of a service for our commercial customers already for many, many years. With that, we have a vast experience of uh, supporting, as mentioned, global customers. And uh, we have with that uh, created a lot of best practices and use cases, as well as automation of testing environments, helping you to make your testing more efficient. With Lab as a Service, we support different delivery models, as mentioned before, different setups, different scales. We can support cases where the testing is done on Nokia premise and all the equipment, the RAN core and applications are homed in the Dallas lab or Murray Hill lab. But also we can deploy Lab as a Service completely on the customer premise with all of the pre-mentioned uh, equipment and applications stored on customer location. Same flexibility there is with testers. Um, we can uh, do this as we do today for some customers where we completely provide this as a service and return the test results to its the customer. Or in other cases where the customer have their testers come over and they perform all the test cases, either in their environment or on Nokia facilities. 
where when they come to our facilities, we can test this, as mentioned earlier, in a complete isolated secure mode where they have full access to the environment, but nobody else has. We can start this service in either a way that we are testing in Nokia Lab uh, with the customer's testers, in a customer lab with the customer testers, or in Nokia Lab with Nokia testers, and evolve along the way to a different mode as the customer grows experience. In this slide, you see an example of a 5G lab service architecture where we have the cloud core operated and stored all in an Nokia premise and Nokia location, and where we're using a internet or a lease line connectivity to connect to the radio equipment hosted on customer premise. As mentioned earlier, there is a large variety of use cases which is possible, and any of this could be uh, either moved completely to his Nokia premise, completely to his customer premise, or any of the different functionalities can actually be moved left or right. Same goes when uh, to the, the, the testing itself. When the spectrum is available and testing can be done in the customer location or where the customer uh, has a uh, radio shielded testing environment that can be done there or we can have a RF tube installed at custom location so that we can avoid that any of the RF signals is exposed to the outside and a safe testing of either new radios or testing of new uh, end user devices can be done on custom location. Lab as a Service allows for early testing uh, for DoD and government of new technologies in real, realistic network environments. It allows to test against real networks rather than in emulators or in simulators. It allows to test with fast turnarounds based on pre-configured setups and, and stored configurations based on software controlled configurations and, and, and RF environments. Allows for early testing of new R&D for devices which are developed for future missions. Allows to test and validate devices which are already in the existing networks, which are already deployed and for which new features have been developed. Allows for release testing where releases in the software can be tested against networks or combined networks of multiple military departments or agencies in a combined manner and allows for pre-field testing of local and overseas spectrum where solutions may not be brought out into its the open air but may want to be tested in secured and shielded or environments as you have seen lab as a service can support in many different type of use cases where as been mentioned before so device testing is a very strong and an important one where Devices typically are being tested in a very early phase. And then as the device development matures and evolves, is being tested again to uh, evaluate models prior to its commercial or operational launch. Same goes for application testing, where applications uh, based out of third parties can be tested uh, using lab as a service in a pre-commercial, pre-operational environment in a safe and a secure way. In same fashion, multi-vendor IoT, uh, most networks consist out of not only functions and, and products and solutions from one vendor, but out of many different products and can, with the support of the testing and lab as a service, be evaluated before put into it's the real lab or real deployment. Same with proof of concept, where Nokia features, uh, new releases, can easily be tested and evaluated before being brought into with the customer lab. And with that, provide an extra layer of security before uh, real customer lab deployment or real operational deployment. Same for solution validation, where solutions which are, have been developed and designed before they're being brought to its operational environments can be tested out thoroughly and any potential issues can with that be identified and fixed before deployment. Labs as a service also can support in 
RFP, pre-RFP type of environments where before uh, and, and as part of the product evaluation, the, the product response, a product can be installed and implemented into a lab environment and uh, the various different uh, RFP supports and responses can be evaluated side by side. On this slide, you see the five different locations from which we provide lab as a service. For the Americas, from Dallas, Texas, and Murray Hill, New Jersey, but also for Europe, Middle East, and Africa, as well as for Asia. You see that we have uh, mentioned earlier, we are supporting different type of configurations where we either host here our radio networks, our core networks, or data centers where we host various applications. All of the test facilities are provided with private and secure customer rooms, as you see on the bottom left picture, where customers can come and test their different applications in full isolation. Where we have different uh, RF chambers, where you see on one of the pictures the RF, the RF cabled environment, uh, but also the different data centers and cloud environments. So in summary, with Lab as a Service, we're able to support you in deploying a carry grade lab in a few months on either your location or Nokia premises. By providing this as a service, can reduce the capex spent, and by using our experience in testing procedures and automation, allowing you to not only accelerate testing but also bring new solutions and services into operation faster. Running extensive testing in a very early stage avoids issues later when solutions are being deployed out into the field, as well as increase the reliability of your solutions. Lastly, with our expertise advantage, we can help you troubleshoot any issues in the network and get your solutions to your customers faster with the quality that they expect. And with that, we can realize lab deployment made easy. Thank you very much. This is Alexander Van Overt presenting Lab as a Service for Nokia.